This is Ron Woody. It is April the 20th, 2023. I did a little short video about this uh, bait box. I'm going to reverse my camera here. This this is a uh, swarm that's in a box behind me now, but let me show you the box it was in. So it was in this box here. It's uh, catch number two this year. Both of them have been small swarms. So as you can see, there's just a few straggler bees left. Um, small swarm two frames two full frames but they were medium so i had this little medium nuke box so as you can see it was good to put it back in the same location because that's what the bees are oriented to and i've already got my sugar water on it so probably a couple of days i'll take this down and i'll take it into another yard um of course it may have came out of my own uh, colonies up here and I do expect a couple of them to have swarmed and when they start swarming sometimes they'll develop more than one queen cell and there'll be more than one swarm that comes out of a colony when that happens they start getting small uh, further I, I was practicing this past year a lot of the single brood management system which would also I think would create smaller swarms that said I had a swarm out of the yard into a nuke box in the yard uh, one night when it had gotten 36 degrees or 38 maybe <clears throat> they were hanging on the outside and the inside i had to put that into a 10 frame uh, brood well this was about three weeks ago i moved that colony to another yard and today i opened it up and i had to put a super on it they had drawn out all 10 deep frames. So you never know. Uh, best thing to do, I say, is if you get a colony, a swarm, a new swarm, feed them some good sugar water. Uh, it has some, uh, I think it's Honey Bee Healthy I'm using mixture, and that's a little light on it. Generally, it's a little darker than that. Uh, but anyway, um, April the 20, 20th, 2023, uh, swarm number, let me see, uh, this is swarm number four, I guess. Number four, number five, this swarm number five um, this year.